up guys the clashers here and i've got a rolling video for you we've got 8k gems to roll with and we're on connor's account you guys might know him from youtube he does do youtube videos i've seen a couple of them they're not bad so uh we're gonna do some rolling on his account and we're gonna check out his guild primal fire um right here you can see he looks like he's the vice leader of it so pretty cool 60 shards a week and uh due by sunday that's not a bad deal. <laughs> All right, anyways, we're going to get right to rolling in this one. So let's just go jump and check out the heroes that we have. Pumpkin Duke. We have 3-5 Zerk. 4-5 uh, Revive. That's kind of cool. Revive on Druid. 3-5 Revite. Thunder God, 1-5 Berserk. Reaper, 3-5 Heavy Blow. 1-5 Sprint. 2-5 Revite. Spirit Mage 2-5 Revite. All right, cool. So we're going to do a mixture of some hero rolls and some talent rolls and whatnot and see what we got going there. Um, so let's go higher with gems. See if we can get a Paladin. Uh, that's not bad. And a, and a slime. Slime. Food. Food for PD. Sweet. Um, go feed those right away. And we'll take a look at that Paladin and see what we've got. And then we're going to do some... Um, three five berserk pally nice uh do some talent rolls i think i'm gonna start with this thunder god because he really kind of needs something better than just a one five i think everybody else maybe do some druid as well and spirit mage yeah but we're gonna start with thunder god he really needs some love that's not better <laughs> one fives no go away try it again go no what is with the 1-5 Revite? I'd love a high Revite on him. We'll try a Cupid and see what we can get on... At least we saw a 2-5. Ooh. I think you're going to want that. 2-5 Revite versus 4-5 Enlightened on Cupid. That 80% experience is going to grow Cupid really fast. And... Yeah. Do a couple more. 3-5 Enlighten. Alright, that's enough for Cupid. No more of that. Go away. Come back here, Thunder God. We've got ten rolls left. And we just need something better than... Better than one Berserk. Ugh. Alright. Take a moment from rolling. And we're gonna go check out... Oh, how did PD die? I didn't even notice he was dead. Must have been from... This attack here, 20 minutes ago. That's no no good. No good, no good. Alright, hey, check this out, though. Where is, I wonder if it's still on here, Final Hours Raid on Connor. Let's watch this video, guys. Just boom. Oh, it's over before his thing. I mean, I guess I fast-forwarded. Let's watch it again without the fast-forward this time. Here we go. I think it's as soon as his Mino just walks all the way around into the base. Ah, oh, there it was. He procced on one of the heroes. One more time. I'm going to leave it zoomed in so we can see where he procs at. Mino just comes in and boom. Wow, was he glitching on the other side of the wall? What? Or maybe that was just in the replay, but it looks like he jumps on the other side of the wall. He does. He walks straight through the wall and then comes back. <laughs> That's funny. That's so funny. All right, one more time zoomed out. We'll show all of these buildings out here just getting obliterated in one shot. There they go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful final hour. Well done. Well done. All right, that was pretty close to being enough time for Pumpkin Duke. Damn it. I was trying to hope that that would buy us time for Pumpkin Duke to come back we'll do an arena run see where we're at and how we do um i think we want pumpkin duke and obviously nah, we want to tank with thunder god we want that proc to come off and get spirit mage and cupid going in the background with a reaper and who else do we want here we obviously want pumpkin duke and then druid maybe got some long range there behind thunder god which would hopefully Cause Thunder God to proc. So this guy's trying the tank tactic where he's got people that'll slow us down, Druid to heal 
the uh, palette in there. So, but thankfully that is just going to do us a favor because that's going to allow our um, Spirit Mage and Reaper just to keep going off. Um, unfortunately, they've got levels way higher than ours. Look at that, level 130 Spirit Mage just wreaking havoc on us. That's too bad. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to try that again. But we've got Pumpkin Duke now. So let's go hang out in the dungeon. See where we're at. Oh, we don't have it unlocked. My favorite level 5 dungeon is not unlocked. Well, we'll drop it down to 4. Try the 10 shard one. 15 shard. Let's do the 10 shard one. And we'll see how we do. I like this one. It's kind of like the 16 sharder. A lot of people like dropping in this little spot. Um, I like dropping down here. But, I mean, let's do this one up here. Just because it's not one I typically do. And I think I'm going to tank with Druid, of course. And then drop everybody else. And then I want to frenzy them. Yeah. See how fast we can get them going. Come on, Pumpkin Duke. Show them what you got. Oh, we lost somebody. Did we lose the Druid? Oh, I didn't drop that shield fast enough. Get him, guys. Oh, we're down to just Reaper. This is something that happens every once in a while when I'm playing on other people's accounts. Just because I'm not used to their accounts. I don't know what they're really capable of. So it becomes an issue of, you know, luck, I guess, more than anything else. Because I really don't know what they can do or can't do so I'm just kind of taking a guess at it you know but that's all right because that means we get fun little videos where I get taken out in the 10 shard dungeon like that all right come on we can get a better roll than that let's go thunder god we can get you something we've only got a couple rolls left stone skin you are not it last roll oh horrible horrible rolls that's just horrible. We did get 4 or 5 Enlightened on Cupid. That's going to be amazing once you get this upgraded. And you've got enough to upgrade her, Helm, so get him going soon. Why do you have so many capped? What's up with this? Get them moving, especially that Cupid now. Please, 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 please get them moving. You've also got a builder that you can get going too. So, All right, let's see what you got in here, B-Monsters. Um, looks like you're winning E. We'll give it a try, see how we do. Here we go. So slow. Coming in from the top, they're gonna take out all of the stuff on the top and then they're gonna aggro on this tower or the gold vault and come back down. And hopefully our reaper will be able to take out those griffins before those griffins take out our tower. That's going to be the hard part. Go, Reaper, go. Why don't we have Spirit Mage out? Thunder God, Pumpkin Duke, Reaper. Champion. Why is Champion out? Oh, hopefully Druid can give us some heals. Maybe he had Champion out for a boss fight. I don't know. I guess we'll find out if we can make it now. Go champion, get us some stun. If he procs right about now, that would be wonderful in the middle of all those heroes. Yeah. There's some heals. Druid giving us some love. Filling our health bars all the way back up. Oh, we got an assassin running around down there. I was wondering why it wasn't over yet. Maybe that tower will take them out before. Yeah, towers will get her. If not, Druid will. <laughs> All right. Here we go. E3 coming in. Nice long run straight in, except they're going right for our heroes. Come on, Thunder God. We could use a proc right about now on all those hunters. But we're going to lose it. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We, we still have all of our heroes, so nothing too bad going on so far. Could be way worse, except for that drop. Come on. 
E5 really needs to come from the bottom. We are just taking a hounding, just a pounding from this side. Good thing they are going for that tower, so that's really nice. If we can get Pumpkin Duke to go and then everybody else will get going, we could really, really use that right now. There we go. And we still haven't lost anybody. So if we get a nice drop right now on E5, we can do this even with Champ in our mix. Especially if that champion, who's all revited up right now, procs right on that dino. That would be beautiful. So here we go. Thunder God's going to get all charged up before everybody gets to the tower. And if he drops right on the dino, perfect. Exactly what we wanted. DPS from Reapers going nice and hard. I saw Champ throw his shit, but it was all the way out there on the Mecha Min. So that was horrid. But look at that. Five heroes still standing E5 with Champion out instead of Spirit Mage. That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Let's go check it th out that Spirit Mage. That's probably why he's not out there just yet. He's still level 61 with only two of nine. So, But, I mean, honestly, if we're looking at mostly level 80 heroes, I would rather have that 61 Spirit Mage out there than this Champion. Yeah. Just because... Just I mean, Spirit Mage has some long-range ability, and that's always helpful for Herby Monsters. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Um, just a quick one, trying to get uh, something better on talent rolls, but just like always, I say talent rolls are not... I mean, they're difficult to get, guys. Just because just cause you see so many videos of me doing talent rolls, how many videos do you think you don't see of me doing talent roles where I just get nothing and nothing and nothing and nothing the whole time. In fact, I'm about to make a Mino video where I'm going to take a compilation of over $300 of rolling and put it into one video and show you guys what it took for me to get 5-5 revite on my Mino. So yeah, um, always take that in consideration when you want to roll talents, guys. Talents are hard to get. They're not the easiest thing in the world. So there you go. Anyways, guys, big shout out to Connor for letting me play on his account. Hope you guys enjoy his YouTube channel. He has a video where he um, has Final Hour attack him. That's this video right here. Go check it out on his account. He, you know, this was a pretty cool video to watch, especially because there wasn't really much magic used here. This definitely wasn't any um, um, Pumpkin Duke stacking that made this happen. This is straight up just heroes attacking, which is really neat to see. This is why I love raiding Smurfville right here. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it. Have a good night.